All right, guys, a big, big day here to help the investment pros. Hillary Kramer, president and CIO of ANG Capital. A lot to talk about, obviously, with this market. Scotty Nell Hughes, TPNN.com news director. Jim Frischling, he's back with us from New Oak Capital. He all right, Jim, did you feel the same way? You know, I, I thought the, in addition to the second patient on the Ebola issue, um, I, I thought the poor retail sales, the consumer right. uh, taking a hit was, was, a, was a leg down. And to Matt's point um, on Monday's show about a capitulation or, or days it takes to get there, we saw some large stocks being sold and hearing that institutional investors and hedge funds were actually punting positions uh, just to protect the winners. Um, so it was almost, it wasn't even a flight to safety. It was a flight to quality, to Matt's point about the heavy treasury volume and hitting new lows in the 10-year uh, threshold in the 10-year and the 30-year. All right, Jim, equity futures, they were looking higher. Then we got the news of the second Ebola patient. Now, I know for you, we talked about this a lot, and you're not, you weren't worried about this before. Mm -hmm. Is that changing? Uh, because I don't think it's about Ebola myself. I think it's about a bigger picture, and that's lack of confidence in an administration that can't keep us safe. I mean, the fact that we still don't really know how exactly she contracted, what went wrong, I think is a problem. I, I continue to say from a market perspective, this is contained. Uh, if you ask me, do I think this country and the CDC can protect us from, from a widespread issue of Ebola? The answer is a resounding yes. That said, when they admit that they don't have protocols and their practices are, are, are far from perfect, the fact is there is a confidence hit. So I'm actually losing on this bet because I think it should be far more muted market impact than it is. I mean, how high are we setting the bar? We've had, we've had one death, and I don't want to make light of that. And we've had the second patient diagnosed, and I don't want to make light of that. But, I mean, the, we're setting a very high bar um, to, what, perfection? Um, so I'm not saying the CDC has been perfect, far from. But, but I'm not ready to throw the towel on this and say we've lost control, given how, what, what few instances we have. I guess the question, though, guys, is, Jim, what about you? Yeah, I, no, I'm in your camp. I'm not going to uh, uh, be hypocritical and say it's going to have a, a modest impact and then say, now get behind the Ebola stock play. I do like the healthcare space and, and actually would talk about a stock like HCP, um, the, the, the REIT, who uh, has, has, a, has a good dividend, consistent, persistent dividend, and actually focuses on the real estate side uh, of, of the market, which right. I think has a lot of legs, especially with millions of people now going to get healthcare and needing senior housing and whatnot, but not the Ebola. Scott, a year from Jim. Isn't there a way to, to sort of rebuild the military that doesn't smack of cronyism, but gives the nation some sort of an economic spark? I mean, I, I think the president has to call a bipartisan uh, uh, conference right now and eliminate uh, the defense sequestration, uh, uh, sequestration uh, cuts. Um, Budget should not dictate strategy. Strategy should dictate a budget. Um, and no disrespect to the, 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 the war on climate, uh, but if we're playing the game of family feud, climate doesn't rank as my number one answer on the board right now. There are other issues that need uh, prioritization. So it's not just uh, counterterrorism and special forces. It's also spending money and having the budget for the modernization of our military and the technology that needs right. to come with it. You know, there's been a material shift from a populist standpoint of more boots on the ground, um, a, a spike in that from where we were only a couple of months ago in response to the ISIS issue. I, I don't think the populace should be determining, again, the strategy or the budget. You talk about the recruiting. How about also the folks coming home? So it's both on the front end. It's also on the returning if you want to have, you know, a more interest in the military. We have to, Jim, help me out here. I think it's the, in, in the, the atmosphere of the market. Uh, in the 1970s, the average hold was three years. Now it's six months or less. So I think it's the overreactions that are causing this. And as a person who tries to help people in the market, my hardest thing is, is, is trying to get people to ride out these bumps and not just take these hits head for the hills and make the same mistakes over and over. Uh, I do think um, what, what is an, uh, a reasonable long-term horizon? And I think you're right. People are trading far more traders than there are investors. Look, Netflix does have some real headwinds. I mean, uh, they are expanding in Europe, but the acquisition cost for their content is very expensive. I, but I tell you what, Jim. <gasps> I was thinking about Bono's apology and how popular he is, how likable he is, his approval rating is off the charts, and he's apologizing. So Congress, with a below 15% approval rating and probably the most polarized Congress uh, since they've been keeping yeah. track of polarized Congresses, they owe And apology. they move in mysterious ways. Okay, Jim. You know, we talked about earnings being the thing that could uh, help provide a, a floor, or turn this thing around, and I think earnings have been good, but not great. The market wants to do something uh, better than just good to combat all the negative headlines that we're seeing. So I'm still looking at earnings to see what could Is do. it possible to have have great earnings in this environment. Um, I was looking for good. <laughs> I, I thought I, I thought the bank earnings were, were pretty good, and so I thought I. and I thought that should have been a, provided a little bit of a bounce, and maybe it did it did somewhat. Uh, but the market was overall disappointed. Uh, with again, good may not just be good, may, may not be good enough.